The Woodside Hotel is located as you enter Aberdour opposite the magnificent gated entrance to Donny Bristle Estate, the former seat of the Earls of Murray. In 1540, James Stuart of Dune was made commander of Inchcombe Abbey and through marriage to the Countess of Murray assumed the title the Earl of Murray and built nearby Donny Bristle Castle. A famous ballad tells of the Queen's love for the bonny Earl of Murray. This, some say, prompted a plot for his demise, orchestrated by James VI, and Donnybristle Castle witnessed the murder of Murray by the Catholic Earl of Huntley in 1592, and the castle was burned down. The house was rebuilt, only to be destroyed by fire again in 1858 and in 1985. The house lay empty for some time, and a major refurbishment in 1997 saw the house being subdivided into flats. The dining room of the Woodside Hotel itself is plucked from the pages of history. Its richly carved mahogany salon is from a Pacific and Orient Ocean liner, which plied between Australia and the UK and was refitted here after its decommissioning at nearby Inverkeething in 1901. A very fine and rare stained glass roof by Oscar Patterson is a particular feature. Patterson was born in 1863 in the Gorbals and rose to become an internationally famous craftsman. Portraits of the brothers who founded the hotel in 1873 are also a feature of the dining room. It's said the brothers also built the Imperial Russian Navy for the Tsar. The excellent food completes this class act, prepared by a well-established team in the kitchen. The Woodside offers 13 ensuite rooms and comfortable public areas for a relaxing coffee and a chat or to catch up with the papers. Aberdour was originally two separate places, namely Wester and Easter. Indeed, today the local rivalry still persists with annual games of cricket and football. The West was the estates of the Earl of Murray and the East was the lands of the Earl of Morton. Aberdour House was sold by the Earl of Murray to the 11th Earl of Morton. Then called Cuttle Hill House, it was latterly lived in by Admiral Beatty, who, with his regular house guest Admiral Jellicoe, would watch the fleet in the fourth and decide the naval plans for the Great War. Today the house has given way to another development of flats after a number of years of neglect. In a defensive position on the east bank of the Dower is Aberdour Castle, the 12th century seat of the Earls of Morton, with 15th, 16th and 17th century additions. Continue on the coastal route passing through Burnt Island, whose church is the oldest post-Reformation kirk still in use. It is most noted for a historic meeting of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland, which for some unknown reason the King decided to change from its usual location at St Andrews. The Assembly, which included the King, Court and Ministers, decided to translate the Bible into plain English, which became known as the Authorised or King James Version, still in use to this day. The church itself was begun in 1592, built to an unusual square design with all pews facing inwards, emphasising the equality of all believers. En route to Kinghorn, a monument stands on King's Crag. This marks the spot where King Alexander III fell from his horse and was killed in 1286 whilst on his way to see his new bride in Kinghorn. His death threw Scotland into turmoil. 